What's up guys, Ron Burbandy back here in Valdosta and we are at no other than Five Point Fine Wine and Spirits. We've got some bottles that we are gonna grab. This is gonna be a fun one. Stay tuned. Reed, what's up, man? What's going on, man? How much? You got any? Uh, you got anything new for me today? I'm glad you asked, my brother. I've got the stuff. God damn. I said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Some Joseph Magnus cigar blend, huh? I know that you like this. <laughs> so I got to bring these out at the same time. Golly, what do you got here? Just the best of the best for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good gracious almighty. God did answer my prayers. Christmas is coming early this year, I think. <laughs> Model 146. Right here, we got our High West display. This is brand new with us. Very, very cool looking display. You know they're out of Utah, so you got the old fashioned skis right here made out of wood. Um, we've got their gift set with two nice, you know, whiskey glasses comes with it. And just the best they have to offer, the double rye all the way down to the American Prairie. And the shoes, you come on. Oh, you're going skiing, Reed? <laughs> yeah, I'm going skiing, dude. I gotta find a back in there. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> Taking some of this with me. So another thing we're doing here at Five Points right now is if you buy a bottle of Contradiction or Old Scout, you can enter to win this bad boy right here, this Vassil's 13-inch backyard or tailgate grill, whatever you want to do. All you got to do is buy one of these two bottles, does not matter which one, and you're entered to win. Comment below and Ron will get back to you on details about when it ends and how you can enter. Come on back here, bro. Let me show you something. Welcome to the back room. <laughs> back here, I've got a whole bunch of extra stuff. Oh man, what do you call this back here? This is the cage. It's got all your liquor. I mean, it's, it's a little cage, it's all of our liquor, it's all of our wine, and then right here in this corner, is the good stuff. You got the the bourbons and the whiskeys and stuff we like, you know, so. Good Lord. What do you got here, Reed? This right here is the good, good, good stuff. The stuff you don't see very often. So first of all, classic Colonel Taylor's bottled in bond right at a hundred proof. I mean, what, what else can I say about Taylor that hasn't already been said? Wellers, of course, we got the CYPB. That stands for craft your perfect bourbon. You could go on Google to find out more information about that. It's actually pretty interesting. Going to the next one, got the well sought after beautiful blue, full proof Weller, 114 proof. This is probably fantastic. Never had it myself, but. Then we got the Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye. Gray bottle. Whew. Now that one, that one is the proof king at 131. Gonna zoom in on that, that. Is some big stuff right there not not really a rye guy myself but hey if you like rye, you would love it you, yeah another this next one is a bit of an oddball probably one you haven't seen very often but got this single barrel three chamber uh rye from leopold um don't really know much about this so i'm gonna be straight up but maybe one of you guys do <laughs> comment down below if you know anything about yeah let us know and then last but not least, right here on the left side, we got the 10 year Henry McKenna bottled in bond. Beautiful bottle, Henry McKenna, man. That's that good. Yeah, this place is actually just one big circle. Really? All goes so what did this place used to be? Interestingly enough, one half of the place used to be a hair salon, like a beauty salon for women. And then the other half of the place was a bar. So you can imagine how that went down. <laughs> Got women trying to get their hair done and guys getting rowdy on the other side. Sounds like Better Call Sal a little bit yeah, there. Yeah, you know, and it was called the Long Branch Saloon. I do not know what the name of the uh, salon. salon was, but they got the saloon and the salon. I like it. It's cool, yeah. That's some Stray Valdosta right That's there. That's not Austin history right there. That's five voices. <laughs> there. And hey, there's the breakage file. <laughs> you ever had monkey shoulder? No. Nope. Interesting story about monkey shoulder. It's a scotch, right? And so when 
you're, when you're making scotch, you have to constantly shovel charcoal into a charcoal kiln, fire, keep it going. That's how scotch was made. So, back in the day, when you were a scotch charcoal shoveler, you would eventually develop a condition that doctors would call monkey shoulder, which is just repetitive use of <laughs> shoulders. So, that's the name of that whiskey, it's monkey shoulder. What's up guys, Ron Burbendy here, and we are finally going to taste this Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. This is bottle 146. My boy Reed helped me get this bottle here and saved it for me, so I'm excited to try it. So, under the nose here, Reed. Cheers. Cheers. Not necessarily. Okay, now that, that honey is coming out. Very full. So we let this bottle be open for about an hour, according to Nancy Fraley online. So let it breathe a little bit. Super complex. Right off the nose, I, I just keep getting cherry. Yeah, I get that cherry, because it's sherry, cask fin sherry cask finish. Mm -hmm. Cognac, and what was the other one? Armagnac. Armagnac. Armagnac cherry. Yes, sir. Oh, man, that that was give it a whirl? Let's go. Let's go, cheers. That just explodes on the tongue. It does. Fantastic mouthfeel. It's really one that you can really dissect, put on your tongue, move it around, find out what, what you're actually tasting. That's what she said. <laughs> so this is 58.82 proof, so like a little higher than 116 proof. And honestly, it tastes higher than that, but I'd say that's just... But fun. the finish is like long, but it's not... The finish is like a lower proof in a good way. Yes, yeah, it's fizzling out as, as we're going down. That was so good. Once your palate's just a little built up after that first sip. I mean, it says dark stone fruits. It's that caramel, brown sugar. A it's of, got a little nuttiness too there. Yeah, I was gonna say a lot of, a lot of kind of a, like a hazel nut, something like that from the barrel, so. And there is that little like numbing in the mouth. All right, a two hundred dollar bottle. Are you are you taking this home? Yeah, at two hundred thirty nine bucks, I would definitely say if I'm going to find a bottle of bourbon that is going to exceed my expectations and anybody else that I'm looking at or trying to serve, definitely one that will be on my list. Probably top three of ones that I've tried. Cigar blend magazine. It's it's hard to find, and it's like that was good stuff. All right, we got Reed that you know. Now we got Eric joining. They're gonna take this for a second uh, joy ride over here. Once again, thank you, Ron. <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the second time, dangerous. Just dangerous? Yeah. 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 That's a good way to put it. I'm thinking of more, more like badass. Like I didn't even that that time around. I didn't really get like a lot of alcohol. That was just like smooth it has. Butter. Exactly. Straight exactly. down palate, no syrup. Really not syrupy. First bite I had to not syrup tongue. I'm not really getting it this time, it's just warm. Very first pour, super aromatic, apple and pear. And then the finish in the glass, the smell, a lot of toasted, a lot of honey. On the second pour, and I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of fig. Still getting the honey, you still get that sweetness. It's still toasted. But it's just like that pure Fig Newton. Like a jammy fig. Jammy, yeah, jammy fig, jammy. but very, yes. but it's still like that bright exotic note. That makes me scared, I want another one. You can call the Addicts Anonymous hotline here at Valdosta. <laughs> so final verdict is Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, the truth. Buy it. It's the truth. It's fucking. That's it, it's Buy really it. good. <laughs> yeah, so after you're done, Get in there and give it a nice sniff because it the nose on this thing is incredible. It's a it's like a toasted honey. It's dark. It's almost somewhat a little malty. It's it's the perfect barrel, but it's got that toasted honey and it. Oh man, you could make a clone out of this stuff. You sound like you're talking to a, like a sexy woman over here, right? Uh, hey, she's pretty. She's pretty hot. <laughs> is that is that your new girl? Yeah, actually, uh, we're going strong. So <laughs> my new girl. So shout out to Five Points. If you want to bottle this, come by. Come see the boys here. They'll treat you well. They'll get you this bottle. And there's two bottles of Old Carter bourbon up there as well. You know Old Carter's the truth as well. So grab some. Appreciate it. I'm going to head my ass back to Jacksonville. <laughs> get the hell out of here.
Well, five points, fine wine and spirits. This treats me well here. We've got the Magnus. We got three bottles of Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Couldn't be happier. Come here to Valdosta. They got two more bottles left. They got two bottles of Old Carter Bourbon. I believe batch 15 and 16. Come over here, support them. Let's get back home. Thanks for joining. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for joining.